Okay, we're streaming live. I have no idea if anybody's on. <laughs> this is going to be a little tricky. Tricky. Yeah. So, so on the one thing, this is a test to see if this stinking thing will work. And two, it's, um, I want to talk about, you know, fishing videos, editing. I've, you know, I've got, <laughs> I've only got one video out this week. I need to get some more videos out. Plus, I got about six dozen floats to get out yeah, so I got a lot of work to do plus I got a couple of handline reels I got to turn and I'm having to read get all that stuff so a lot of work to do but uh, you know I sent out a questionnaire on the community tab and what, what's the hardest thing what's the thing that's keeping you from starting your fishing channel on YouTube that kind of thing let me know if you can hear me if anybody's even on Okay, Dave. I see Dave's on. Ha <laughs> ha! Got one person on. <laughs> Heck yeah! I, I was I was about to type, "Hello, good morning" or whatever, and it's like I can just talk. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> so that's neat, you know. So, but anyway, I'm probably gonna wait till some more people get on. But you know, I sent out the questionnaire asking people what. Uh, What's the hardest thing about getting started with your YouTube channel, your fishing channel and things? And a lot of people are saying just the editing and how to edit. So kind of wanted to talk about edit. You know, I'm behind on a couple of my videos today and this week. And so, um, oh, yeah, here he is. <laughs> okay, you hear me fine. Yeah, I hate the audio on this camera. This is just a webcam, but it, it's fine for now. I'm, you know, it's fine. So, um, all right, Spencer, Spencer Creek. Hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> yeah, there's a lag. I mean, I don't. You probably don't see what I'm seeing. You're just seeing my face. But I've got two monitors here, and I'm trying to get all this going. And I actually need to change screens. Um. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I is it fairly. Yeah, so I guess Spencer, yeah, I say Spencer, yeah, Spencer Creek, yeah. Um, um, just bear with me, guys. It, it, it's, it's only, it's, I've only done this a couple of times, so. Um, uh, oh, no, 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 don't do all that. Okay. All right, um, so I'm going to be doing some editing stuff here, and as well as uh, we'll be cutting back and forth between me editing. So let's just uh, let's just chat for now. Anybody been fishing yet? It's been like the weather's just now starting to break. It's just now starting to get okay. It's cloudy out. It's been cloudy a couple of days, but you know, it's still not right. The water's not right. So I'm just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Um, I'm, I really want to hurry up and get finished with this stinking boat build. And there's a lot of stuff to do this time of year. Really, I get really antsy. So I'd rather be on the river. But there's just a lot of stuff to do here in the home office. And and for me, that's really hard and boring. Oh man, dude! I have never, dude. I hear people talk about creek chubs all the time. It's like, especially catfishing. I, mean, I guess that's what um, what's the fella's name, the 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 guy that does all the catfishing stuff on In Fisherman, Doug Stangy. He talks about chub. Man, I've never caught creek chub. I mean, how do you like even start? I mean, is it like fishing for bluegill or are they what? I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I've never caught them. I don't even know if they're available down here. I don't even know what the heck they are. They're just like, what the heck is a creek chub? I know it looks kind of like a sucker or a I guess I'm, I keep thinking that it's like a what they call croakers down on the miss it on the um, down on the uh, delta down in Mobile. That you know, you know, and those are kind of neat. But I don't know, man. Just like whatever. So um, 
Um, I'm looking forward to get some more bluegill fishing done this year. Probably going to be not eating so much bluegill. I just rather use them for bait now, you know. But um, I'm sorry, I'm looking past you. There's a window. That's probably why you see my face it's on my glasses. I probably just need to take my glasses off, but then I can't see. But um, it's just pretty out there, and I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm looking out there. I'm knocking out the door. It's just a lot prettier than looking at this stinking machine. <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh dough bait so is this a, is it like bread like if you just take bread or just you actually make the dough bait with flour and stuff or you know temperature's been up and down here and yeah yeah, that's about how it's been here. Temperatures have been up and down, rain everywhere. The river's really city, really sandy, and fast. And you know, I've been up. I was up below the dam a few days ago, and it's yeah, it's just miserable. Can't I couldn't do anything. You know, um, it's just the fish. The water's still cold. Um, fish haven't started moving yet. The bluegill are actually surprisingly shallow. They're in the rocks. They're and they're you're able to get on the riprap right now and you can you know if you can anchor down on the riprap and just drift you some worms or crickets or something down in the sh in the riprap's you can actually catch some bluegill if you if you got to be slow and methodical but they'll bite um so that an indication to me that those rocks on the riprap's are warming up finally and and some of those fish are moving and if the bluegill are moving that shallow the catfish won't be too far behind you know Wow, onion? Onion powder, really? Heck yeah, dude. Okay, dude, I gotta try that. Okay. I'm not used to this delay. I mean, there's a delay. I'm, I have the thing set as fast as possible, but by the time the signal gets from my mouth to the video, processed here, sent out to the satellite, gets back down to YouTube and then out to you there's this lag you know the speed of light isn't instantaneous I mean that that's we're actually bumping up against the limits of the speed of light itself there's a lag in the whole universe and the people don't realize that for us it's instantaneous but you see it in things like this I mean I don't know how they synchronize all the satellites because of the differences in the in the time and stuff it, it really is a different time but that's all quantum mechanics that I don't really understand and but anyway, um, all right, so looks like we got to have you guys, and that's going to be it. Let's just get on talking about video. So video, I think when it comes to editing videos and stuff, it's like there's three things you got to nail to have really awesome videos. And when you're editing and when you're shooting, you have to think, okay, what story am I telling? What kind of emotions am I conveying? And um, what kind of action am I capturing you know the action you know and I think the great thing about fi fishing is all three of those things sort of meld together all the time let's see yeah cane pulling is fun I like cane pulling a lot and I may have to try that you know um I, I, I've never you I mean I've worked in a kitchen for so long and it's like dough bait should you think that I would do it but I haven't so I gotta try that but anyway um so emotion Excuse me, emotion, action, and story. Well, if you're fishing, there's always action, right? You're setting the hooks, you're reeling, you're fighting the fish, so there's action built into what we do. If you can capture that action, you have one of the great elements that makes a good video, a fishing video, or any video. Emotion, well, when you catch that fish, it's just, you, you know, I've had people tell me, oh, just the emotion you have, and that's part of the, um, the appeal of fishing fishing, hunting, any of these outdoor activities, there's emotion. That's why you're doing it, because it's sort of elating and adventurous and, and those sorts of things that automatically just sort of, um, it automatically just comes through. And then the all-encompassing thing that sort of binds all that together is the overall story. And that's why, you know, and that's really, um, and so one of the things I've learned here recently, it's you have to almost forget about fishing. If you want to fish, just don't take any cameras with you. <laughs> if you're 
but you have to think of, I'm always thinking about the end product. What is this going to look like? What story am I telling? What emotion am I conveying? I don't want to, you want it to be natural because it is, you're documenting what's happening. It's not just you manufacturing something. But in your back of your mind, there is this thing, okay, you know, and so, you know, and so, you know, it's always about the, the story. So how do you capture that story? Um, I tell you what, let's go on to my editing suite and I gotta switch screens. I'm probably not gonna be able to chat with you for a few minutes until I get back to this set. So um, let's just go on into the thing. Let me show you what I'm currently working on. Let's see, I gotta switch monitors. And I sh you should, okay, now you should be seeing my head shrunk down to nothing and this is my editing suite this is Flowblade I use Flowblade which is a I use Linux um, Flowblade is a Linux thing but there's a bunch of software programs you can use if you know I have a real computer here um, and uh, I want to shoot a video let me know I want to shoot a video on how you can shoot a good solid fishing video with your cell phone that, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about making it. I don't even own a cell phone I have a crappy old tablet let me show you well you can't see me I mean actually you can but <laughs> sorry um, I have this old crappy thing and I'm thinking about shooting a video with it because it's about it's like a big cell phone but I can you know you can get a good cell phone you can make a good video with any camera I mean it doesn't matter um, it, it's just you, you got to have a story you got to have emotion you got to capture some action if you got that it, it this doesn't matter if it's this or one or my SLR camera whatever it doesn't matter so I need to do that let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in and I'll have to check back in but um, I'm probably not gonna edit a whole video because there's just no way um, here's the first thing I do I have to add footage um, a roll and this part may be a little boring for you I should have spent a little bit more time getting this all set up b-roll soundtrack um, what is this um, uh, yeah titles and you know, graphics and that's kind of how I set things up but just real simply come here videos bulk footage slip corks now I've been in the studio all week I need to show you my new studio I've just it's gonna take some time for this to load um, I've been in the studio all week and so um, had some guy had some people over from church and things we pulled everything out of that old back room that I was using is mostly as a dump <laughs> and I got it set up for my studio I gotta get a video out and show you guys that much easier for me to work now here is kinda junky cuz it's just kinda how I am but the studio is nice and clean and neat and there's a lot of space that I can work and think in uh, I don't mind being a pack rat here for the video it's kinda comfortable but in the studio I need to have a lot of clear things so you should see all these videos loading now and so part of this thing is one of the things I've noticed is my slip corks have been selling. People have been buying them like crazy. I got like six dozen floats to get out. It, it's oh my goodness. And um, so the first thing I do is I want to tell the story of me making these slip corks for everybody. Because <laughs> and th that's the story. So ask yourself what story am I trying to tell? That's the first thing. Let me check in back in with you guys on the other screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same two guys. That's good. That's all I need. I just need two good men. Two good, few good men. That's what the Marines. That's all they. That's all they need. Few good men. They don't need a whole bunch of people. Okay. So all my clips are here. If you watch the video series I have out about how to shoot video, that's more of the how to shoot stuff. Where you you're shooting in clips and things. And then when I come here to my editing suite, and I'd have to look at how you would do this on a cell phone, because there are video editing things on cell phones now. And so the first thing is, oh, i got to load my titles and tracks. Ah, this is always the most frustrating thing for me, this part, getting everything loaded in. And I have to be in a sort of a calm state of mind, maybe some ice cream, you know, something like that. 
and I'm a little flustered now because I'm trying to do about three things at once trying to teach trying to talk to you guys trying to edit video it's really it's really too much for me that's generally why I would rather do a true video on it instead of just talking about it but you know sometimes um, I'm not a very talkative person uh, no photo patreon yeah here we go here's my patreon just bear with me I should have set this up earlier I just wasn't thinking uh, no no in screen soundtrack I don't have no idea what soundtracks I'm gonna use okay so I start my videos off here this is all preliminary stuff um, if you notice this track here that um, if you no notice the cursor there that's frame by frame you can zoom out you can zoom in that's the actual individual frame I'm shooting at 25 frames a second now that's a European standard uh, 24 frames per second is what if you go to the movies they're shot at 24 frames a second unless they did something weird like they did with the Hobbit movie where they shot it at 48 frames a second and it looks like cheap TV the higher the frame rate the more it looks like cheap TV <laughs> the lower the frame rate like 24 frames a second it looks like this great cinematic thing 30 frames a second is sort of standard for television I hate the way 30 frames a second look it it just looks like it just looks like TV 25 frames a second seems to be a nice compromise between the two not too dramatic and cinematic like 24 but not cheap looking like 30 but anyway that you know um, okay so let me do this real quick I hope you guys are not bored let's see it probably will be boring but let me finish this out once I get that up so as you can see this is the opening sequence you've seen me do now support to patreon I don't have to tell you to support to patreon it's just the thing here and then bam you see where that happens there um, cues are very important in editing video things need to cue other things something that triggers something else so you see this pop up bam what we, that's where we start the video the video actually starts when the extra little logo there starts okay and so now what we do is go back to our a roll all right and here you see that remember the action you have the subject which is my band my uh, drill press bam this big ugly monster comes in and picks it up okay now what we do is cut now how do I cut I, I'm using keyboard commands with flow blade it's just you hit the X that's all you do and that cuts it out and so now we can shift here um, it's kind of oh save yeah um, flow blade uh, how to what okay no this video is not how to this video is product instructions how your slip corks are made okay something like that and I'm probably gonna change that title around dramatically once I get the keywords that I want and things like that I already you know so Okay. You see how the sound comes in there? I'm gonna chop it out there. Oh come on. Editing is really where the story comes together, right? See that? See that once again? Very subtle thing. You've seen this a million times, but you've not really thought that that's what's going on. The video starts when the BWL logo fires that's what triggers the video to start and it you know right there see so you're starting the story is actually starting before you even see it 
that's a very important technique. Bam. You can stop there. Just cut it. And just a really rough edit. What's the next shot? I have no idea how we got from here to here. What did I just like not? <laughs> I'm just thinking, <laughs> dude. Yeah, see that right there? I know I'm jumping around. If you have any questions, let me skip back. Let me check back in with you guys. I don't wanna I don't wanna deny. Okay, so uh fin fishing. Thanks for showing up, dude. Messrs. Hell for review. Dude, Finn, dude, don't do sub for sub, dude. <laughs> That's like, like wrong. That's like totally against YouTube policy, man. <laughs> you don't do sub for subs. It's like, I don't mean to call anybody out, but it's like major against YouTube policy. <laughs> it's just, I mean, but thanks for joining the chat. I'm happy you're here. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy everybody's here, really. Um... Okay, so, so, but, uh, but anyway, let me get back to the editing. Um, I'll check back in from time to time because I don't want to make sure I don't want to leave anybody out or anything. So, okay, bam, there, bam. See how it goes fuzzy there? Bam, right there, and it switches. You notice I don't spend too long on that shot. You know, you don't want to spend more than about 10 seconds on a shot, you know, less than that three to five seconds if you can help it but pacing is important in a video the early part of your video you need to catch your people within the first five seconds or ten seconds of the video if you don't get them then they're gonna be like eh, they're gonna click somewhere else right there we can cut it right there Hear me moaning and complaining, but there's no need. There's not necessarily a need to complete the. I think I'm just crying out to God. Like <laughs> seriously, I'm like depressed. Right there. We right there so it's one shot one Mississippi two Mississippi three right there we cut it three seconds jump cut which is kinda of jumping ahead in time another important thing jump cuts time is relative we don't have to do everything chronologically which is one thing I'm learning is how to tell a story that's non chronological but at the same time, we don't. If we do tell it chronologically, we can jump ahead. We don't have to show everything. You just. That's one of the reasons why these live chats. It takes forever to do it because I'm. We're. You're literally having to go through it in real time, and nobody has time to sit here and do this, right? Unless you're just an eight-year-old, right? But it can jump ahead in time, and it's getting dark in here. Doesn't look dark to you because the camera automatically adjusts, but it's getting cloudy out. Yeah, I'm gonna start that one right there. All right, a little bit different. So jump cut, boom, boom, boom. You know, right there, boom. If it, when you're editing, if it feels too long, it is too long. You know. So I used to just sit here and, and literally meter out three seconds or five seconds. Now I just go by the feel, and if it feels too long, it is too long, and I just chop it until it feels right right there see right there I'm already bored right there save always save
Right there might be good for some music. Is this at all interesting? To me it's fun, but I'm not sure what it's like to you. Let me check back in with you guys. Flip screens. Okay. You got two people watching still. That's great. Um anyway, see it's already I'm I'm noticing twenty five minutes passing and it's been twenty five minutes. I wanna show you something. We have exactly thirteen seconds worth of video. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. From your, from my perspective, it's been 25 minutes. But when you click play on the YouTube, when I finish this and upload it, only 13 seconds has passed. See, time is relative. Time is, in fact, relative, my friends. Albert Einstein was right. It is relative. Right there. Um, I'm thinking about some music right here because it's getting a little dull. Let's start over. Boom. 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 Right there. So, another thing. What emotion do I want to evoke? Well, I'm working. I, wanna, I want some music that evokes work. We need to add some soundtracks. YouTube has a great soundtrack library, a lot of which I have oh, come on, downloaded here. And it's perfectly free. It's, they, they want you to download it. They want you to use it in your videos. And so I need something that says work, but not a laborious sort of slave driving work, a fairly enjoyable light work. If you can come up with one or two words that says, this is what I'm feeling, the music can help communicate that, right? You know, this is where my background in music kind of comes in. You know, although I'm not writing the music, I can do this here. Let's see. It might be loud for you here. Let's see, it's too playful. Again, too playful and silly, you know. I know that won't work. Um, what's this one? Come on, play. That's actually kind of nice. Let's see where it goes. Maybe a little too melancholy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, heck no. You've heard this one before. No, that's, I use that for intros and stuff from time to time. Like mega death. What was that? I don't know, man. Just wait. No. Yeah. Gosh, it's just too sentimental. Okay, but anyway, um, we can put some music there. I want I kind of want the audio the the sound is really what triggers things more than anything. Right while I turn that on, let's have the music come in. So just for by way of example, let's go back to what we were doing. Yeah. 
yeah, let's just go with that for now, although I don't really particularly like it. Uh, let's see how that works out. Just for way of example. And once you introduce the music, the music begins to dictate the pace of the video. So, um... So right when I turn on the motor, that's when you hear the guitar. But I want the music to come down in volume because I want the sound effects to be the main thing. The sound effects meaning the sound of the motor and me drilling the corks out. I want that to be the number one thing that's capturing you. Right there, I might be able to just tell you what, chop that out. That slows it down too much. Here we go. Okay, we gotta move it. Dang, gum it. Why does it? Do some tricky stuff that's hard to do. Um, let me go turn the light on. It's really dark in here. I can't see the keyboard anymore. The camera should compensate. All right. So now we're at 14 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna say how much time has passed on the. Oh, I can look here. 32 minutes, and we have 14 seconds worth of video now. Right? <laughs> no, you see, this is not. This is you know, it's just something that takes time. It's not a fast thing. Now, part of it, the reason it's slower, because I'm trying to teach you and inform you at the same time. So let's go all the way back to the beginning and see what we have so far. shot's getting too long. I'm going to mute that and see if I can listen for any change in the music that would allow me to change the um, the video. The, the, the shot is what I'm saying. Bring up the volume here. That right there. Bought up, bought up, up, bought up, up. Dominant there. Um, that's where we're going to chop that. Alright. Yeah, right there with it. Bo da bop, bo da bop. And you zoom in all the way till you can nail it on the frame. On the frame. So not before, not after, all, you know. 25 frames a second, which literally means that the camera has captured 25 still shots in one second. It literally means that. And it's metered that way or whatever. So it's... Right there. That's where it starts. That's where the music starts. It doesn't start on this frame, or that frame, or that frame. It starts on this frame, this one. Okay, um, hope this works. Ah, oh, good, it did. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, now let's just let's let it play and see where. Okay. All right, so we just chop out the rest of that. So that was a two minute and twenty second. No. Ah, just frustrating. And yes, I am a lot like this when I'm editing video, except I'm using more expletives. <laughs> I don't want to do that on the... All right, so that's two... Okay, so uh, you see the file name DC, DSC002. Of that one minute, 33 second shot, I have used all of... Come on, why doesn't it... I've used all of one, two, three, four. I've used five seconds out of that one minute and thirty something second shot. And that's you see what I'm saying? So now let's move on to the next clip. Let's see what do we do. Oh yeah, that's a great shot. And so Okay, but why do we kill the sound? Uh don't kill the sound for the music. Let the sound effect stay in, you know, so I forgot. Let's see here. really loud we're gonna have to move this up here And I had the DB filter on too, the bass filter here. So, um, video two, we're going to bring that down, some the audio levels down. All right, let me check back in with you guys. I hope, uh, let's see. Where, where's the cursor? Watching and learning. Okay, great, great, great. Thanks, Spence. All right. Um, so we'll just keep going. Um, I'm a little flustered right now. My brain's not quite dealing. I think I'm traveling through space-time slower than most people because the world seems to move much faster than I am. I have this whole space-time thing. still way too loud okay so try it again okay. see you hear that boot up up boot up up and that's what if the the that's where it changes. I don't like the audio mixer in this program at all, really. But it's, it's for the money. <laughs> it's Linux, right? So uh, it's free. So there we go. Right there to that next note. Boop. I gotta kill the sound there to listen to this. Yeah, it's repeat. Right, right there. So we kill that again. Gotta go up to that one. Yeah, good. That worked. Okay, and once again, out of that, this was a six minute long video. No, six seconds. I'm going to use about two seconds out of that six seconds that was that one shot. And we just move on to the next shot, you know. So it's going to be more chronological. Really, I thought I.
I changed the zoom there. Move on to the next shot. Uh, I had a similar shot to that before. All right, here we go. See how I jumped there? See that we can do something with that. So I changed angles here. Uh, um, we changed angles. Uh, with video, you have a 360 degree view. All your shots should need to have a subject, and you can view that subject. Imagine that subject is the center of the universe, because technically it is when it comes to getting the shot. The subject here is the the hero sort of of this video is not me it's the actual stinking drill press this drill press is the hero of the story <laughs> All right it's my main mule you know and at this beginning process of making these slip corks so um so you want to get a bunch of different angles and you, you it's the center of the universe and you have 360 degrees okay of of rotation you know of course we can't film under the bottom and see the steps but what would it be kind of cool if we could get some shots you know through the through the sides and things and that's what you'll see so this is behind we've got one off to the side we've got the slip corks here in a pan you just saw now we have this uh, back view of the thing and I'm jumping out that's I didn't intend for that to be there, but hey, that's something I can use. You always want your you always although I'm talking about these short clips, you always want your shots you always want to shoot at least ten seconds worth of solid still video so that you have plenty to work with. And then you get a bunch of bunch of shots and then you just chop them all together like this. And that's what makes a video. See right there, right there. See how it changed? See how the music changed? And then the picture changes with the music because the music is now driving the pace of the video not just what I'm doing it's the music that's driving it and this is I'm a big stickler for audio I uh, the one thing I hate about my videos right now is the audio is so inconsistent sometimes it's awesome sometimes it's just horrible and sometimes it's just sort of okay and I just ordered a preamp from Beach Tech I'm gonna probably do a video review of that next week when it comes in but that's gonna iron out the audio so audio is very important. Audio is more important than the video because the audio is what captures the emotion. The video is what the audio captures the emotion. Remember, story, action, and emotion. The audio is really controlling the emotion part of that. So that's a that's like thirty percent of your video. Thirty three percent. Very important. So we got to decide where we're going to chop in there. And that gives you a little, since this video is sort of behind the scenes, we need to, you know, I just literally hit record on the camera and now I'm having to jump out. <laughs> to, that I'm trying to get a shot of me just drill pressing more corks, but the thing, just the practical application of having to work around the camera, it actually adds something in. And I didn't want to kick over the corks here and spill them all out and get all cussing mad, <laughs> which that would have been interesting too, but that's not what I want. I want family friendly videos things like that you know right there that's where the shot ends but does the music dictate that see now that's a decision I have to make at this point um, okay I think I'm gonna continue to let the music dictate which is more important to me but Bum, bum. Bum, bum. That note right there. Um. Put 
Mm-hmm. Right, right there. He ha- he does a go a grace note or a sort of a ghosted note before he lands on the thing, but that's really a music thing, and that's not. You don't have to go into that much detail, but anytime you have a major change in the music where another chord comes in, or the guitar player, or trumpet player, or the orchestra hits something, and that can be a cue to change the shot. Let the music lead the video. All right, that's where I want to chop that one out. I forgot to uh, include the sound in on that. So now let's go back. Boom, right there. Boom, boom, right there. Boom. That one bass note keeps coming back, and that's going to be sort of the driving motif of it. Because music is sort of this organized sound in time. It's a beautiful, poetic sort of organization and manipulation and presentation of sound in space-time. That's about the only definition I can come up with music. Outside of that, I don't actually know what music is after like a couple of degrees in music. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> Two degrees of music, you don't actually know what music is. Yeah, it happens because it's more complicated than just something that sounds good. But anyway, now you see me. You see me. You know. I had the. That's the one right there. We chop that one. Let's see what else is in here. I think we can slow it down here. We don't have to change it every single time that one little bass note comes back. We can kind of slow it down a little bit. You, you start your videos at a fast pace to capture people's attention and hold people's attention. Once you got them, you can slow it down and take your time a little bit. So it's not all one thing. It's some fast paced, some slow paced, some music, some narration. I may do some narration here and I have my, uh, got my Sennheiser here and my whole mixer. It's kind of hard for you to see, but got my mixer here. Um, so we're probably not going to edit this whole video here today, but, uh, but you know, so it's a mixture of narration, me talking over the video as a narrator, there's just me doing the stuff and talking to the camera, and then there's just the music sometimes, just letting you ex- feel the emotion of what's happening. This is just work. You know, in country music, you know, I love folk music. When I say country music, this junk that's on the radio, I'm sorry, I don't want to offend anybody, but that's just like punk. That's popular stuff. I'm talking about real country music. I'm talking about mountain music. I'm talking about the Appalachian stuff, stuff we grew up listening to, storytellers, things like that. Uh, Part of the persona I want to convey is just a country boy living life. And I think that appeals to some people because that's that sort of captures the heart of the essence of an outdoorsman, you know. And so lots of strings, lots of lots of guitar music, you know, folksy kind of thing. That's what I want in my music. And uh, let's see. See, I'm picking, I'm organizing here. That's what I was doing here. Right there, brum, brum. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lengthen that one out. You can slow it down a little bit now. You can go ahead and slow it down. Right there, um, ah, da, da, ah, bomb. I can't leave it on the dominant. I have to resolve it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> After all these years, you know. I have to. 
rum. Just so that glissando all the way up to that one note. So it's when he lands on the um um eight six five or two five one something. The, the progressions don't matter. You don't have to know all that. It's just that that's worthless to you as a filmmaker and wanting to make good videos on YouTube. But so we got to drill back down to the. Um, all right, let me check in with you guys again. See if you're still there with me or whatever. Uh, all right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so thanks for hanging. I'm serious. Thanks for hanging around, guys. I'm, I'm dead serious. I, yeah, A-10. Uh, good jet. Wish they could replace it with something, but... Mach 83 bombs there, looks like. And, no, those are the J-Dams. Yeah, those are the J-Dams. They take these old... Sorry, but they take these old bombs and put a GPS kit on it. And so it takes a dumb bomb and turns it into a smart bomb. And then they have the... Uh, there's a Maverick missile there. There's an air-to-ground missile. Uh, good planes. Defended our country for a long, long time now. And it's, uh, it's, it's old and time to be replaced. But anyway... Um, let's try that again. Having a hard time nailing it down on the frame this time. I'm going to zoom out slightly. There's a little bit of a lag because the, in a sense, the computer's having to render this as I'm doing it, and so there's a there's a little bit of a lag, and so it's kind of hard to nail down exactly on the frame where things are happening. Sometimes that's a real subtle thing, but you just have to go back further than you think you do. Yeah, that glissando, that glissando very barely takes a frame to execute on the... Um... It's not on the frame. He doesn't land exactly on the frame, which, that's not his fault. It's just, you have to make a decision. Right there, we'll go with that one. Boom, bum, bum. Right, we can go right. That's a good shot. I just randomly picked that spot. I'm serious. Sometimes you'll luck out a lot in in um, video. You'll just like, oh, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> you'll be like, Man, you just totally lucked out. You know, you didn't plan it. And that's how a lot of this stuff happens. Boom. Down. Get better. Glissando. Okay. Now. Wow, he's going to a strange place there, harmonically. Just it's a subtle thing. It's almost like a sus chord or something. I mean, again, that means nothing to you, probably, but for me as a musician, it's, it's sort of interesting. When a musician doesn't progress in the way you think he will, he changes it, and that's what makes it interesting. That's what made all of the great composers like Beethoven and stuff so great, because they weren't predictable. To you, it just sounds pretty, uh, and that's great. 
And you want the music, the music has to match what you're doing, right? It can't, while it would be cool to do a cool hip hop um, rap type of thing here, it would be like the wrong music and it would totally turn people off and people are like, you're an idiot. Just, they're going to go somewhere else. I mean, if you have to get a lot of things right with video. I'm like, I don't want to listen to stinking rap and you're just a country boy wearing a cowboy hat. It's a Barma. It's an Australian cowboy hat, right? And so they're like, well, but it, it fits. The music has to fit what you're doing. And I, you don't need a music degree to understand how that happens. You just have to answer that question. What emotion am I trying to evoke? And how does the music fit what I'm doing? If it seems a little off, it probably is. We're, so this is going to be a rough edit. We're going to have to go back in and do some fine editing or whatever. But Right there, that little subtle, he goes back to that one note again. Yeah, he's just he's just suspending on that one little thing and kind of fr frilling around that one note. Yeah, we'll just chop it right there. And let's see if there's anything else in this shot we can use. Ah, look, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? See, we don't need all that. We don't need two minutes and 56 seconds worth of this shot. You know, two, three seconds out of that is all we really need. You know, a little splash of, you know, a little garnish of rosemary here, a little, a little crushed basil there. That, that's kind of what you're looking for here. You ever had a great cook, like your mom or grandma or somebody who just could cook really well? I'm not talking about people who could follow a recipe and just only, and that's it. I'm talking about people who, they know how much an eighth of a teaspoon of salt is. Just by pouring it out in the hand, oh, that's an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And they put it in. Those type of cooks, if you just watch them cook, you can learn a lot from them about how to make video. Because it's not... Uh, it's not that they're going to teach you how to craft the video. It's just that they have a um, built-in, inherent sense of how things should work. They kind of know how it's going to taste before they even finish the recipe. And a little garnish here. Oh, this a little bit more of this. Ah, you know, a little bit more of that. Gosh, got to have some paprika in this, right? That's what we're doing here. All right, we're, we're kind of improvising a recipe of what it's going to be to have a good video. And my voice is getting raw about now. Okay, so let's go back here. That needs to, we need, we definitely need to change that sooner, but I was talking about interesting. there so now what am I doing here in the in, in real life all I'm doing is getting up to turn the camera off <laughs> that's what I'm doing right but you know but but it makes for interesting video notice the difference in the lighting I don't know how to do color grading and lighting adjustments in the video and I don't even think my camera is capable of doing flat profiles and all that. I just, that's beyond my level. I, I'm just not a real filmmaker that way. But um, that's just, um, so it, it, in this shot, you see the sun is really bright right there. But then you come here, what was the difference? Well, a cloud moved in front of the sun. And I don't have my camera in shutter priority mode where it automatically makes the lighting adjustments. I want it full manual makes it more realistic here. So let's look at this little sequence again here. Slowing it out, drawing it out. Like 
change. Still slow. See, yeah. See, that's not quite right, is it? It's a little bit too long. It's a little bit ambiguous as to what's really going on. You probably, to me it is, but you probably hadn't thought about that. That change is not in the right place. Right there. It's not in the right place. It doesn't feel right. Right? Now, if you were just watching one of my YouTube videos, you would pro you would probably on some level realize that you would probably just sort of do that, right? Because on some level, you realize in when communicating with video that that shot didn't change in the right spot. Why? Because it didn't follow the music. So I don't know where I'm going to put that at that point. It doesn't really matter, but let's just keep going. We can rough edit stuff. Oh, see, here's what I'm talking about. This, let's get to this shot, all right? I, I like this shot. Remember how I was talking about looking through the thing? There's the truck in the background. It's kind of fuzzy out. Call that bouquet. There's the old boat there that you guys have heard me talk about. People have been asking about the boat. Well, guess what? You know something more about what's going on in sort of my life as a daily YouTuber and or whatever. And I try to run a small fishing tackle, custom fishing tackle company. It, it lets you know what's going on. It's real life. You know, that, that's the point of it. Realism. So there's that. Bum. Right there could be a good spot. Stop it there for now, but I'm probably going to have to come back and redo all this when I'm more zeroed in. And I got to get going on these floats back here. I've got a bunch of floats to the thumbnail. Those are all the floats I got to do. I got like six dozen floats to get out, hopefully by next week. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not too bad. All right, now we got to figure out where we're going to cut in here. Right there. See that? See that? We chopped in. We chop in right there before the action starts. You, you chop in before the action starts, right before the action starts. The main subject is still the stinking drill press. The drill press is the hero of this particular story, right? And I'm just working around the drill press. Yeah, that works. Right there, you see that bass? Bum, bum, bum. He's got, yeah. See that bass kind of scoops in. Woo. Where does he come in, Rexy? Chop it right there. See if there's anything else interesting in this shot. You know, one more thing I found with my videos. I don't want to shoot my videos and edit my videos in the same day. It's, it's just, like, miserable because it's too much pressure. If I can just shoot, just shoot a bunch of video, and then get my mind off and away from it and then come back to it a few days later, I can really zero down and tell the story a lot better in the editing, right? Because it takes time for me to reset my mind. If I'm shooting and editing, uploading and promoting my videos all in the same day, it's just everything feels rushed later. And that's not what you need. You need to shoot all your videos. And when I say you want to do one video a week, well, you take one day and shoot all four videos, then take a couple of days off, and then come back and edit all four videos, and then schedule them out for that month. Now you got a whole month's worth of work done in like one day, instead of shooting and uploading and editing. It's just too much. That way you can spend the rest of the month just 
editing and uploading the video if you want. It's much easier, much easier up here and in here and with your life. Life is busy, so. But anyway. Alright, um, guys, my voice is getting raw. And I really have to. Let's see. Oh, come on, really? Okay, my voice is getting raw, all this talking. Um, and I gotta get in the studio and get going with editing all these. I gotta, I gotta finish wrapping all these, um, corks and stuff, but, um, I hope that, hey, come in, glasses, just, I need anti-glare, I don't have that, I don't know what to do to do that, um, so I gotta get back here in the studio, but that is sort of the process that I'm going through when editing video for YouTube. And I want to do more of these story based, more, um, I want to do more fishing documentary. I want it to be more documentary style, like you're seeing here, things like that. Now, eventually, you'll hear me talk in the video, but I'm just not there yet. Uh, another thing is, I will probably get some more shots as I'm in the studio today, probably hit the camera as I'm doing the floats of me actually talking head to head sitting by the window kind of thing and I can cut to some of that stuff once the music um, allows for it or whatever and, but you'll see the final video on that probably next week I'm probably not going to upload anything else this week because I'm just kind of tired and I'm, I really need to get ahead on these floats and stuff because um, you know really my number one obligation is to the customers so if any of you who have wondered about my fishing floats I have a link and where is it where is that link I've been noticing a couple of people buying them on on you on eBay you know my big rant on eBay right you know, but um, I decided I'm gonna try to get um, the floats um, try to work the shipping out where the shipping is included and uh, I raised the price of the floats selling them one at a time to a dollar sixty a piece but I think I can get the price down to a dollar thirty a piece and include the shipping uh, if you can if you buy like 24 floats or more does that make any sense and so um, let's see if I can where's a live thing here oh SK crappie showed up what's up dude I'm happy you showed up dude I'm just about to log off I hope to do more of these um, talking live chats so um, where is the link I don't think that was the link. That was not the link. Just give me a second, guy. Oh yeah, here it is. Twenty-four for thirty-two. Um, I don't know. I guess when I end the live stream, YouTube will eventually post it somehow. But I'm not sure how all that works. Um, this is how I do my videos and stuff. So that's it. Um. My voice is raw, man, and I gotta get ahead on these thing on videos. So, uh, any of you who are interested in that, um, I mean, if I did one of these live chats more or less once a week, I mean, I don't want to know when, but what what would be a good time for you guys? You know, like on the live chats. Okay, yeah, there's a link there. Uh, so 24 for 32 or whatever check it out if you want if you don't want don't worry about it um, and I am gonna log off it's been gosh it's been an hour unbelievable um, this is kind of fun <laughs> I haven't done well I've only done maybe one or two of these on in my my time here but um, it's going to take a couple of days for my voice to get back right again because I don't talk a lot. Alright guys. I am signing off. It's been fun. Let me know in the community chats or whatever if it's fun and all. And I will see you later. Now I've got to figure out how to stop this thing my goodness an hour so out of an hour of live chatting I've have like 30 seconds worth of video
<laughs> so when you watch this video, you'll know. See, you see what it takes, right? Um. Okay. Okay. So, 